Hi girls, today let's listen something on TypeScript in copy editing. TypeScript simply means copy of typed material, hard copy, electronic or any other. We will be discussing different types of TypeScripts here in detail. In copy editing, the word TypeScript is used to describe the material that the copy editor works on, whether it is word processor printout typewriter produced copy or electronic files so the word typescript is used to describe the material the copy editor works on the hard copy or electronic copy or, what, or whatever uh, type of print he takes first the first stage in the book publishing process is planning and writing the content this is the work that most self-publishing authors focus on. However, it's only a small part of the whole process of book publication. After this, the draft of the book is delivered by the author to the editor. This is considered as the second stage. It is called the manuscript or typescript. This manuscript, as you all know, roughly means the handwritten script. Before the advent of typewriters and computers, books were often handwritten by the author. When authors began to deliver typed books, the manuscript began to be referred as the typescript. However, in general, we have a habit of referring this manuscripts or uh, this typescripts as manuscripts, since we are more familiar with that the usage of that word. Whatever form it comes in. The book that the author delivers to the publisher or the editor is the finished copy that is ready to go through the publication process. And there the stage of copy editing begins. So that is the third stage. Now we look into the different types of typescripts. We have three different types of typescripts. Namely hard copy typescript, electronic typescript and author generated camera ready copy. Now we look into uh, detail about these different types of typescripts. First one, hard copy typescript, which is also known as word processor printout. It is a typewriter produced copy or even handwritten manuscript copy as we mentioned earlier, the copy edited version of which will eventually be edited by a typesetter. A hard copy typescript will be edited by a typesetter from copy that has copy editors marks and corrections throughout and that is accompanied by a design specification for fonts, a layout and a treatment of tables and illustrations. Most hard copy typescripts are prepared by authors using word processors. When authors use their systems knowledgeably and their printers provide clear and unambiguous output and when the authors have followed any publisher's specifications for general layout and style, there are many respects in which typescripts prepared in this way are easier for the copy editor to work with than typewriter produced copy. The major benefit of typescripts prepared on word processors is that if the copy editor has an opportunity to look carefully at the typescript at an earlier stage, it can get corrected pages from the author. Uh, some of the traditional copy editorial problems of presentation and other um, stuff can be eliminated before copy editing begins. For instance, one can ask authors to provide double spaced copy for notes or bibliography. I know that you are not familiar with the term bibliography, that uh, things are coming in another module where you will be learning in detail about what a bibliography is. It simply means that a list of reference book, we will look into it in detail later. If they were originally single spaced to amalgamate several subsections of a bibliography or to subdivide or classify it in another way. So authors using their word processors search and replace facility carefully can eliminate many inconsistencies like that. Also, if you can identify these problems in an earlier stage, you can 
make the corrections with the hyphenation spelling and capitalization the author can be asked to search for the terms and change them as agreed throughout the text and send a new printout before you begin to work on the typescript by using the word processors facilities the authors can be asked to make some changes of the sort and to provide an entirely new printout before copy editing begins this actually saves time once copy editing has begun however tell the author not to generate and uh, send updated pages to be substituted because that will create confusion with the original ones also this kind of copy editing process i mean hard copy uh, hard copy type script copy editing process will also give you chances to make instant changes that are being noted down this approach would ob obviously be most useful at a much earlier st stage before the author has begun final editing but there are certain drawbacks with this uh, kind of copy the biggest problem with the hard copy typescript is the quite natural assumption that a beautifully produced and printed word processed document is correct Uh, the power of the printed image can assert itself to ev this editor's disadvantage there for the same reason a professional looking printout carrying no handwritten corrections may not have been checked thoroughly by the author have, have after having been printed so this also uh, creates some kind of confusion also the mini school uh, school superscript note numbers produced by some printers are difficult to see and so therefore time consuming to locate and check but of course you know we have different fonts and that create a difference especially with the numbers authors whose printers cannot produce legible superscript note numbers could be asked to use normal text size numbers instead or to go through the typescript and clarify the note numbering by hand instead of trying to produce a more finished look to what after all is an ephemeral document so these are the problems with the hard copy uh, typescript now we'll look into the electronic typescripts electronic files prepared by an author and submitted on a disk or a tape or a cd rom may be uh, called as electronic typescript process by a type setter as they are with little or no copy editing or design copy edited and designed on a hard copy printout then corrected by the author before being processed by the type setter in electronic type script of course you can make relevant changes then and there itself copy edited and designed on a hard copy printout then corrected by a type setter before being processed copy edited corrected and possibly even designed on screen before being processed by a type setter these are the three most important benefits of electronic type scripts publishers and authors realize a number of benefits from using authors disks or cd roms firstly the keyboard time is saved and the proofing um, process is um, is becoming shorter and also you can save money too then coming to the electronic files produced in a type setting programming a language such as text or latex which are designed to help authors key complicated mathematics and are widely used by academics so these are different type setting programming languages of course you know that there are different programming languages like java c++ etc but here it's all about type setting programming language like text or latex and you have to deal with in detail about xsl then latex etc that you will be learning in the coming modules text trough loud xsl are some popular type setting programming languages but latex appears to be the choice for many editors there are many reasons for that and that we will be discussing later in this slide why uh, this editors prefer latex the publisher can give the author macros that adapt these programs to a particular house style or series style you are not familiar with the terms house style or series style that uh, actually uh, deals with the documentation process of a uh, printed 
work that we'll be dealing with in another module just now just try to remember the names house style or cd style now coming to the third um, uh, type of typescript author generated camera ready copy or they are known as print ready files so as the name indicates uh, the camera ready copy may be a material that is presented to the publisher as electronic file produced on a desktop publishing system of a specified typesetting package which often require no further intervention before being output no further uh, so that will be like a kind of final print in the past author generated copy was accepted by publishers largely because of the convenience and the cost savings of having the author acting as the typesetter uh, sometimes with little regard to the quality of the design or the resolution of the output most publishers provide guidelines and patterns for authors preparing camera ready material if the author's printer is of the right quality and the author is willing to um, willing and able to manipulate or make changes with the files the final appearance of the material can be of the high standard and can be truly ready for the camera this procedure has always been suitable for material with complicated and therefore expensive type setting requirements for conference proceedings and journals and for projects of various kinds with restrictions on their production budgets the term camera ready copy was originally coined because the manuscript was sent to the printer to be photographed for offset printing the term is still used but we either print or create a printing plate directly from an electronic or hard copy version it's very useful in preparing documents for e publishing than contain a uh, complicated mathematical that contain complicated mathematical e equations and illustrations in the past author generated copies were accepted by publishers largely because of the convenience and the cost savings of having the author acting as the typesetter as i mentioned earlier that actually saved a lot of money and time now coming to the why they considered this as uh, one of the most easiest way along with this electronic type of course this electronic uh, copies are being set to this camera ready copy stuff this uh, first of all all this uh, the mention we mentioned the typesetter programming language tex is the typesetter programming language is used among academic authors and is designed to enable them to key complicated mathematics so there are other packages also common in use such as quark express ventura and page maker described as publishing programs latex as i mentioned i, I told you earlier that we'll be discussing the merits of latex uh, or why latex is the most preferred programming language and um, here so we'll discuss that here so the advantages of latex are any text editor program can be used to revise the file the, the format is consistent and the program is available freely to the users now we'll look into some of the general rules for creating the camera ready copy so first of all it helps to integrate text with art and tables it ensures appropriate spacing between lines as per guidelines whatever be the publishers demand it follows standardized trim sizes for artwork it use a convenient page makeup program like page maker ventura quark express or latex it add page numbers and identifiers begin chapters on a new page manage page alignment and design specifications running heads page numbers and more cite figures consecutively check for any missing or duplicated material check camera ready for formatting follow rules for submissions copy editing proofreading follow rules for create uh, preparing artwork and illustrations etc camera ready copy prepared by the author to the publisher's specification or presented alternatively are more frequently these days as fully corrected files that are ready for the printing that saves actually time 
This may be dealt with in one of the two ways. One is sent for making film and printing in case of this camera ready copy. CRC is camera ready copy or simply printing in case of the electronic files after minimal copy editing and design as per the requirement. So these are the uh, major types of typescripts that you need to le learn in copy editing. So whatever be the typescript or the method in which you are copy editing, these are the things that you need to keep in mind. It's essential that for you to know that before beginning work on any typescript exactly what your role will be, which production route will be followed, who will be responsible for making copy editorial changes to the files and whether you are expected to correspond directly with the author or via the publisher. All these things you need to inquire beforehand. One of the keys to the successful copy editing stage is effective communication between the copy editor, the author, typesetter and the publisher. So girls that's all for today. We will be back with another session in the next class. Thank you.